a bad motherfucker with whoever I fight. Like. Yeah. Scorch Stevenson has proof that in the fight with Edwin De Los Santos, he was injured and that he was a one handed fighter. It's your boy, Mr. 926, aka Bushido the Dragon, aka the Black Mage. AKA, I could just do this all day. The two time demonetized champion of the world. I need y'all to get the likes up, man. Get the likes up. Check it out, man. Shakur Stevenson. I guess in that fight with Edwin De Los Santos, he really did have one hand. I guess he was really injured in that fight. Now, Shakur Stevenson received a shit ton of criticism after that performance against De Los Santos. It almost appeared that he was essentially fighting the guy with one hand like he was scared to let that left hand go right for whatever reason it looked like he was scared to let it go and in the fight with De Los santos it left a lot to be desired fans criticized score stevenson they said he was running from the fight De Los santos criticized score stevenson he was running from the fight but score stevenson has proof that he was actually injured in that fight let's see let's let's, let's check it out it says that boy was one handed. Let's see. Right there, as you can see. Damn. Damn. Yeah, you can see that lump right there, bro. Yeah, man. Score. No wonder he was looking like that before the fight. He might not have been feeling well either. And he had one hand going into the fight. But being who he is as a fighter and the standard being very high for Scorch Stevenson and during the trash talk, um, fans weren't giving him no slack. They weren't giving him no breaks um, in regards to that performance. But looking at this, this is this reveals all. Um, Scorch Stevenson essentially put up even that type of performance, right? He really didn't get hit in a fight, didn't, um, was able to do that with one hand. I guess a lethal puncher in El de los Santos. So now that this has been revealed, and the, thank thank goodness for the internet these days, right? For guys who, you know, find these footages and come up with this stuff, you know, salute to everybody who does their work in, in, the, in the internet world to pull up receipts like this. Because Scorch Stevenson was receiving a lot of heat from that performance. And honestly, I think he should rematch, still rematch, El de los Santos to show him what it's really about. Right. And Shakur says here, that's before the fight, too. Damn, y'all catch everything on Twitter. He said, whole world tried to fade me. Bet half of them act like they don't see that MF now. LOL. Hey, I see it, kid. That's why I'm doing a video on it. Because everybody else is not going to come out and, you know, clean this shit up. And then he says, that recording was before the fight. Whether fake MFers that claim I was capping. You don't know too many fighters jumping in the ring with they shit looking like that, and that's facts. Hey, that's that's true. You know what I'm saying? Most guys would have pulled out of the fight or postponed it. Then he says, now it's time to move on from what's from that. See y'all in June or July. I can't wait to see y'all again. Keep that same energy. Hashtag chasing greatness. Yeah, man. He said, tell your favorite fighter to fight me and bet your house on it. You go lose it all. LOL. Um... Hold up, man. Let's let's see what else. Because it was something else I saw. Shakur Stevenson is out here letting everybody know. Look, man, you, what you saw that night was really a one-handed fighter, and you you didn't even see the best of Shakur Stevenson yet, right? Then my homeboys, JJ Solomon Cray, Brad Shaw from the Spitbuck Podcast says, "Now that you sillies understand why Shakur Stevenson looked so quote unquote terrible after unanimous decision victory with one hand." Maybe you have an understanding of why these three chose not to fight him last year. And he got a picture of Loma, Frank Martin, and Devin the Dream Haney. Wow. This kind of changes the narrative, even for me. Um, seeing that this video came, being the way it was in that fight. Um, yeah, man, we had to talk about it. You know, um, Scorch Stevenson is a problem. You know, that was a, probably about a 30% version of him. So now going to this next fight his hand should be um fixed or whatever issue that he may have had 
Um, now he's going to be coming out with a vengeance. He got he got a lot to prove. He got a lot to show now. Um, because even though us hardcore fans understand what's going on and stuff like this comes out, the casual audience, the people that paid to see the tickets, the people who may not follow boxing every day, still have in the back of their mind that Shakur Stevenson is a quote-unquote runner and he don't want to fight. So, yeah, man, this kind of cleans things up um, to a degree for the hardcore fans in the boxing community. You know, um, Shakur Stevenson, man, one-handed fighter. Went up in there and did his thing against Evan D. Los Santos. This kind of changes the narrative a little bit, right? But he still got to go out there and show fans that that was really just a bad night. But tell me what you guys think. Shakur Stevenson, video comes out that he had one hand against Evan D. Los Santos. Like, subscribe, hodgepoy. Peace out.